Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. As always, lovely to spend time with you. Now today I'm going to create um, this lovely little design and I've been asked for a few ideas of how to use the beautiful snail house stamp that we've got. But also it just happens that Janet had been in touch and said she needed a new home card. So, well, there we go. Those two just went together, didn't they? Now, it's not often that happens, is it? That's what I call a little win. And, you know, I'm grateful for all those little wins. Have you had a little win recently? You know what I mean? Just something like when, um, I don't know, oh, you're pairing the socks up and you happen to not get one left at the end. For me, that's a little win. Anyway, I'm sure you can think of lots of things. So this is the sort of thing we're going to create. And we're going to start off with a piece of card. And this is the multifarious card. And it's five and a half inches square. And we're just going to put a black Sharpie line around it first. I like to do this at the beginning. Because if I do it at the end, you can guarantee my pen will just whiz right across my work. And I'm afraid, don't judge me, but I do keep a piece of paper, which I use for putting my black line around. So just drag the pen down. I just, for me, find it better to hold my card with a piece of kitchen towel, just as I say, to stop my pen whizzing. There we go. And then you see, I can get rid of that. But I will keep it. I'm afraid I am warning you, I will reuse it. And what we're going to do first, I just want to create that circle. So I'm going to come in with my acetate circle mask. And I've gone for blue at all. So I'm just going to move this slightly this way. And for this one, I'm going to use the number seven brush. And that's because I don't want... Um, if I use the larger brush, the bristles will bring the colour too far in. If I use a smaller brush, the colour will be almost too dark. Um, so the seven is just perfect for this. And it's all about working out which brushes are best for what you're going to do. Now, this is a new, quite new ink pad, so it's very juicy. So I am aware of this. So I'm just taking a bit off in the lid. And then I'm going to actually put some on the mask here. Just, I can always pick it up if I want it, but I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm just going to drag a little bit of the colour in, look. And just for a bit of extra depth, I'm starting down here. It'll just help me give almost a 3D effect. And then when I've got less ink, I'll come all the way up here, look. And just gently... And then when I've got less ink on, again, I just want to blur those edges a little to give me some nice blending. And then I want to add my moon. So I'm just going to get the smaller of those acetate masks look. And I'm just going to slide it under there. And then I'm not going to add any more ink on my brush. I'm just going to hold it. And just gently, hope you can see there, and then take that and then we've got almost the idea that the moon's there. Now you can tape things down, you know me, I'm a bit of a tinker, I'm not keen on taping things down. It's a very quick little background and it's perfect just... Especially if you need something like a new home card. Um, this actually would make if somebody had been poorly, maybe a get well card. You know, if they're tucked up in bed. It's got a retirement card. I mean, there are lots of things. I mean, it's lovely to... We're just going to stamp this in the middle here, look. It's a lovely stamp as part of a design if you're building a scene up. So for me, it was thinking of how I could use it when it wasn't part of a scene. Obviously, we've got our lovely snails, Samuel and, oh, I can't remember his name. Anyway, you'll know who I mean, our lovely snails. I don't want to say 
the name in case I get it wrong. You know what I'm like. I, real I rename all these stamps as it is. But we've got our snails, um, which you could use with the snail house. There's a lot of detail in this stamp. And as you'll see, when I lift that off, look, look at that beautiful detail. Just think it's absolutely stunning. Now we've got two sentiments and the sentiment set is called Words from the Heart. And one of them says, love you to the moon and back. And then the other one, the one I'm going to use today, says home is where the heart is. But remember, you don't have to stamp them flat. So I've put mine just at an, there's a certain amount you can get a nice sort of arch. You can't make it too, I haven't quite got the actual circle here, but I've got enough. I like that shape. There's only so much you can bend them, but I'm happy with this. So I'm very carefully going to bring that in. And you need your head right over this, so my head might come in front of the camera. So I want that straight. And I'm just going to hover. And I almost want my heart sort of, there we go, either side. Just take your time, hover, and then press down. And there we go. I'm happy with that. As I said, I didn't want to damage the stamp and bend it too much. And look, when you're finished, when you take your stamp off, look, it will go back and you can pop it nice and straight again. And I would recommend putting it back straight as soon as you can. For me, I, I think that's better. So what we'll do, we'll add some colour now. And I'm going to come in with my watercolour pencils. So... And what I'm going to do is my beautiful um, mushrooms. I want a bit of a red on those. So I just want a bit of kitchen towel to lean on, just in case I've got any bits on my hands. So I'm going to add some red at the top here. And then just to carry that colour through, I'm going to add these little stones around the door. This lovely arch will colour that red. And then I've got a, a brown. So just at the base of these lovely mushrooms, I'm going to add some brown. Now for the snail shell, I'm going to keep my brown, but I'm going to come in with, of all colours, blue. Just because I've got this lovely blue background and I think my highlight would look lovely in blue. And Tracy has drawn where you want. So you've got the darker colour where you want the shade. Now this normally is your highlight. So you could leave this area white. Or a few I've coloured them in and I've used this yellow. But I just thought this is a magical snail um, house. So I'm going for blue because it's magical so I can have it any colour I want. Well, that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. But, you know, if this was a new home card, you could even be... I would actually check what colour the windows are painted in, maybe what colour the door's painted and actually make it to match. So the blue is going to come all the way down there. And then I'm going to come in... We didn't go quite to the end there, look, nearly. Shall add the brown next. Just follow it all the way around. And I'm just colouring into that blue. Now again, you can take your time. You know me, I like to do just a nice sort of cheats. And then I'm coming with a dark grey. And this always amazes me. When you put this shade lock in this middle bit here, can you see if I bring it up this bit here, what a difference that makes? So I'm going to go all the way around. And it's important for me to go 
in the right I don't if I go across like this it won't look as good but because the lines on the shell look I'm following them by going up and down and some areas look I'll go a bit further up and that will help as well see where trace is given as the the line so almost I'm doing my coloring in that direction of the lines so going to add a little bit of brown on the stones here and we've got that gorgeous stone on the forest moss you could add extra stones if you want and I'm going to come in with that grey and just add some shade look at the base of these stones and again that will just give us more of a 3d look and you see I lift it up closer so can you see how already that started to look and you know it didn't take us a lot did it and just before I had anything else I'm going to come in with my, my pastel pencils and I've got the black and I'm just going to ground here just come in look and add a little bit of grounding and obviously it's going to come over this way because the moon's there and then with my biodegradable cotton board or your finger I'm just going to smudge that two things it'll help set it but also for me I just think it looks nicer when it's smudged and yes I'm afraid that is the same cotton board I've been using I'm terrible aren't I so now I'll come in with my wink of Stella so you could use your watercolour pencils, uh, your water brush. See, I have used watercolour pencils, I need to remind myself. Um, but instead of using water to just blend the colour out here, I'm just using my Wink of Stella. And then I'm going to get that beautiful sparkle as well. And I think with it being a snail, they have a bit of sparkle, don't they? So I'm going round first and again I'm keeping in the direction of the way we used our coloured pencils and then I'm just going to take some of that ink because it will pick it up and now I'm going to add the blue and again just blend that blue. But if I just get part way round and bring it up, can you see, A we get that lovely sparkle but also you've still got that depth of colour look. And this, I mean, it's not taken me long and it's not very difficult at all. But I just think it's giving me such a lovely effect. So I'm on the blue now and I'm just blending. So I'm going backwards and forwards, look. So I'm adding that wink of Stella, but also blending those colours together. And then just clean my brush in case I've got any blue on. And then we'll go into the red of the door, look. And then those beautiful mushrooms one. And it really will make them pop. Right, just wipe a bit of the red off because look, you do get a little bit on. And then we'll just put a little bit of sparkle in the moon. And then I just want to add, it's a good job I looked up at my original then look. I'd forgotten to add this lovely hanging heart. So this is from the Fairy Charm set. So what I'm going to do, it's a good job I saw that. Anyway, you can see what it would look like without. And then we'll add it. So I'm going to wink up. I want to check it straight on my block. And then ink up in black. But the stem is too long. So what I need to do, just need to give that a bit more, is get a piece of copier paper and I want it sort of there. And I'm just going to, let me see, pop it there. There we go. And I like that. I think that just adds. I mean, you could have another one at either side if you wanted. You could have one up here. But it's nice how the stamps mix and match. 
Last little thing, I want to add a few white highlights. I'm going to come in with this lovely white pen and we'll just add one. Right, come on. Sometimes when you've not used them for a while, they just need, just needed a bit of a, bit of a persuading it to work. So there we are, a couple of highlights, look, and a couple of dots. And then just on the red, we'll add a couple. And then also just catch a few on here. I don't want to overcook it, but just a few where the moon is and maybe just a couple. But I think that's enough. And then I want to add some lovely little splatters. So I'm going to just come back in with my mask look, pop it on there and bring in my yellow sparkle Posca. Now, again, if you're somebody who doesn't like your Posca, and I know not everybody does, so that's fine. And I'm going to keep it quite close, look, because I want really, if possible, to keep the splatters just in this um, blue area here. So I'm holding it close, look, so I can almost direct it and just see if I can keep the splatters away from the heart and from the snail house. So we shall see how we've done. I'll be very brave and I'll lift it up and let you look close. But if you hold it and direct it, you'll find it's easier to actually control where you get those splatters. So look, I'll be brave. I'll show you. So we have got them round and there's not any. I could have masked this area, but I must admit, I do find I can if I'm very careful with my splatters. Now, I want a word on here. Now, on my original one, I've put time for bed because I thought my person in the house was it was just time for bed. So I'm thinking, I thought I saw memories. Oh, I did. Memories on here. And I'm thinking if it's a retirement card, it, memories would be perfect. So I'm thinking that is just going to look lovely. I'm just position it with my scissors and then get my black fine liner pen look. And I'm just going to go around just to frame it a little. But you know what? If this was a new home card, we've got our numbers, stamps. And what I tend to do, you know I keep all my little scraps of card, so I stamp the numbers out. And then I've got a selection of them if I need one. So I've taken the number nine look and I just used my stencil brush with the ink that was left on it, coloured it. Now I think this, so this person's moving into number nine. Now you could hang it even over the heart or look at that, it fits just inside the little shell there. Or if, say, it was number 29, you could add it wherever you wanted. But also, as well as our number stamps, remember we have our grey board numbers. So again, you could pop the number out of the grey board and also add that. So lots of ideas and lots of alternatives. Now, as I say, you could even add more foliage to this. This is just a little starting point for you. So there's the finished one. Now this one is on a piece of card six by six, ready to go on a six by six card blank, ready to be posted. So I'm hoping that gives you some ideas. I have to say that Wink of Stella really does sparkle. As we know, snails tend to leave a little bit of lovely sparkly glitter behind them, don't they? Well, that's what I think it is. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're feeling okay. It can be a tough time to some people, January, February. So I'm sending you a big hug if you need one. And you know what? If you don't, if you're in a really good place, send some of that positivity to somebody else because they might just need it. Love and hugs from me. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.